Hi guys, my name is Eza and welcome back to my channel. So today, excuse me, so today I am going to do another review and this time it's a product review and that product is, drumroll please, a menstrual cup. Ta -da! menstrual cup this menstrual cup i bought from the small business by dara i'm going to link all of the social media as well as their shoppy link so you can buy from them this is not sponsored unfortunately i wish companies would sponsor me but no this is not sponsored i bought it myself um okay now the reason why i want to use a menstrual cup let's just start off i guess the main reason why I wanted to buy a menstrual cup, it's not because like, oh, I wanted to save the environment or I wanted to save money or some shit like that. It's basically because I was sick and tired of using pads and constantly having bleed through. I was sick and tired of it. It's just frustrating. Also, trigger warning, like if you are disgusted by periods and feminine bodily fluids, click off the video. So anyways, if you are a girl, right, and you get heavy flow periods, especially on your first and second day, sometimes the blood will get through your butt crack. And that's where you start getting bleed through. And it's just so fucking Basically, I bought this menstrual cup because I was just sick and tired of any type of bleed throughs. I don't care where it comes from. Was it the butt crack from the front, from the side? I don't care. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of sleeping and then the next morning, my bed looks like a murder scene. So, hence the menstrual cup. I bought this menstrual cup, if I'm not mistaken, for about... 50 to 60 ish including shipping and to be quite honest with you i am very happy with my purchase i've been using this for two cycles now and i'm going to talk today about the pros and cons and about like my experience basically so the first cycle that i tried using the menstrual cup the first time i tried to put it in my own body it did not go well like you know, with everything the first time, nothing's gonna go well. And I did not, it was not a fun experience, basically, putting it in the first time. I've never used tampons in my life before, so I have never used any type of period product that is inserted into the body, except, you know, the only thing I've ever used is pants. So it was not a comfortable experience. It was quite honestly painful but I think that's because I kept pulling it out and shoving it in pulling it out shoving it in but after a while I got the hang of it and the whole week of my period the first cycle was perfect I had no bleed throughs nothing happened I could use it the whole day and it was as if I was not on my period yeah it was amazing I was in love I was completely in love. The second cycle of my period though, that's when I had trouble because I think I did not insert it properly because, okay, pretend this is my vagina. So this is how I would fold it. I would press it in the middle and I would make sure it's like this, right? So this is my vagina. So I'm shoving it in, but I think, I'm not sorry if you see, I think my suction was not perfect like it's still folded and that's when I got like bocho and bleed through which was not great not great at all like I thought I thought that you know I did it properly but I guess I didn't so basically what you have to do is, when you are like this you have to go inside and basically you have to push yeah, you're putting your finger <laughs> up inside. Oh my god, I'm doing such a b bad explanation. And you just push right around like the upper lip of the menstrual cup and it will pop open. And you want it to pop open. So once it pops open and how you know it pops open is basically when you pull, when you pull this thing, if you can see, this extension I would say, 
it will not budge like you can just pull as hard as you want and it will just ding, it will not budge it will not come out that is when you know the suction is complete and you will you're good to go for the whole day yeah how you put it in though I'm not going to demonstrate it to you because it's uncomfortable. I don't want to put that shit on the internet. Basically, what you want to do is you put one leg over, I would say, the toilet and kind of do a half squat. So once you're in the half squat, try to kind of like, you know that motion of like you want to poop, but obviously you're not pooping. You, you're just like doing the motion of pooping. And that's when you fold, like I said just now, fold the menstrual cup, put it in. Once you put it in, you're good to go. And the reason why you want to do that motion of pooping, you're not doing Kegel, by the way. Do not do a Kegel exercise whilst you're trying to put in a menstrual cup because it's just going to make shit harder. You just want to do the motion of pooping but not actually pooping. The reason why you want to do that is because you want to push the cervix down. So the cervix is down and you're with your menstrual cup, you're meeting it halfway. So it, you know, traps all the blood. And yeah. Am I doing a good explanation? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, the cons. Okay, the pros are obviously environment stuff. You don't need to use pads, etc., etc., etc. The cons, I would say, if you are easily disgusted by blood, even though it's your own blood, this menstrual cup is not for you because during the first day, my god, you think that this will not hold a lot of blood. You will be surprised, sis. You will be surprised, such as I was surprised when I saw, damn, this small cup really does hold a lot of blood. So yeah, if you're disgusted by blood, the menstrual cup is not for you because you kind of have to... Okay, this again, this is my vagina. You have to put in your finger up into the vajayjers and you have to push this to break the suction and pull it out. And obviously, you know, throw the blood away. So if you're disgusted by that, menstrual cup is not for you. Another con I would think is, I don't know. I don't know what, what else is the con. I guess min maintenance because you have to wash it frequently. But then it's not that frequent as much. You can do it in the shower. To sanitize it, you just put it in boiling water and you're good to go. Like how I do it is like every time I come back from work, I take it out. Throw the blood, wash it with soap, wash, 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 ensure there's no soap residue or anything, put it back in, and I'm good to go for the next 8 to 12 hours. I think that's the only con I can think about. It's like, if you're not great with blood, menstrual cup is not for you. But then again, I am in the category of being fortunate enough to have clean water to wash my menstrual cup with. I guess that's another con. If you're not living in a place that has clean water, you can wash it with or accessibility to soap, perhaps. So, tam tampons pula. Menstrual cup is not for you. But for me personally, the only cons I can think of is if you're not great with blood, you're kind of disgusted by it. It's not for you. Because if you would think that putting it in and out, like putting it in and taking it out at the end of the day, it's pretty tedious but actually no once you get into the rhythm of it it barely takes five minutes it's less than that i would say on a good day three minutes on a bad day like your vajayjers your vagina is not working with you five minutes eight minutes at most if you're, you're really having a bad day but usually if I'm really having a bad day and my vagina is not cooperating with me, I'll just use a pad. But yeah, um, that's the only cons I can think about. The pros is that obviously, like I said just now, oh no, wait, I'm still talking about the cons. 
another con I would say, but this is completely my fault. It's not really a con, it's just more of my observation. Um, the menstrual cup will last you 8 to 12, 8 to 10 hours, I would say. A good 8 to 10 hours. Once it's in, you do not feel anything. You feel like you're not even on your period. You can go swimming, you can run, you can jog, you can hike. Like, it will not budge and you will not leak whatsoever. But, once you pass that 10 hour mark, especially if you're a heavy flow like myself, once you've passed that 10 hour mark, you gotta be careful because this is my bad. This is absolutely my bad. I was out with, I was out basically. I was out doing my chores and shit and I just kind of exceeded the time limit, not even by 10 hours. I was using my menstrual cup for 16 hours. By the 16th hour, my menstrual cup was giving up on me because, bro, I was leaking like no tomorrow. So please do not over exceed the time limit when you're using the menstrual cup because number one, it's not safe. Number two, you will leak. It will leak. There is a limit to what this small thing can hold so for this one the limit was probably about like 12 hours plus you don't want to you know you don't want to have that blood inside of you for more than 10 hours but yeah i have nothing but good things to say about the menstrual cup i'm really sorry my review is all over the place i don't know how else to review this I really love it. I'm going to try another brand and another shape just to see how it goes. But so far with the Dara Menstrual Cup, I have no complaints whatsoever. It's really soft. The silicone they use is really soft. Plus, the warranty for one menstrual cup is 10 years. So imagine you're just like paying 50 to 60 ringgit once for 10 years. If worse comes to worse, it lasts you five years that's still 10 ringgit a year and you imagine how much money you would save 10 ringgit a year compared to you buying pads which is about like what 15 ringgit a month so yes i definitely support menstrual cup please buy it if you do tell me i got nothing else to say so um yeah that's all my video that's all my review basically for this product uh yeah uh i guess click like and subscribe <laughs> i'm really again i'm really sorry my review is all over the place and it's not so good so yeah bye guys see you in the next video